Welcome back to our last SOP for the Danger Zone SNR. This time we'll be learning about the breakout for Danger Zone SNR resistance. So let's look at the SOP first before we look at the example on the chart. Here we can see that this is the daily time frame. Up here is the resistance, bottom here is the support. So this will be the second movement. So price on the daily break, this second movement. This is considered as a danger zone SNR on the daily time frame as a resistance as well. So first we go to the line chart, we mark the horizontal line. And then we mark this as our second movement. And then we mark from the edge of the resistance all the way up to the shadow or the wick of the candlestick. Now let's move to the hedge 4 time frame. If we move to the hedge 4 time frame, same as well, with the danger zone of the daily has been marked, we only need to find the second movement. Okay, good. We have the second movement on the hedge 4 time frame. Next. What should we do? We can see clearly that at the H4 time frame, the candle has break this zone with a marubozu. As you can see here, the candlestick has break above the danger zone SNR daily of the support. So the H4 candle close above it. So once it close above the zone, next what should we do? We look for confirmation of rejection when the price comes back to this area to test as a new support so since this is the hedge 4 time frame the breakout of the candle also have to be at the hedge 4 time frame because the danger zone is at the daily time frame now when price comes back to this area to test as a new support what is the time frame confirmation that we need to have a look that is the H4 and the H1 time frame and it need to close above the zone for the confirmation of rejection. So we go to the smaller time frame to look for setup. If this is the H4 time frame, then we will look the setup from the H1 time frame and below. If this is the H1 confirmation of rejection outside of the zone, then we look the setup at the M30 time frame and below. So price will then come back to this area and continue on the uptrend. Here I have an example on the Euro and ZD on the daily time frame. So the first step is always we want to mark the danger zone. So first we go to the monthly, weekly and daily time frame. But in this example, I'm going to show you a breakout on the resistance of the daily time frame. Not as per the SOP where the XOP example showed to you was the second movement of the resistance. But I'm going to show you the resistance that is not the second movement. The second movement breakout happens very often. So I'm going to show you something that not often, that is the resistance or the support that is not the second movement breakout. So come back to here, we open on the daily time frame. Next, we go to the line chart. Third, we mark the horizontal line at the resistance. Then we mark the second movement of the horizontal line. Fourth, we go back to the candlestick chart and then we mark the zone from the edge of the resistance all the way up to the shadow. Okay, here it's supposed to draw up to the shadow, huh? so it doesn't reach. Okay, but this is just an example. If there's a shadow much longer than here, then we will still remain on this shadow. Whatever shadow that is behind here is already the past. We want the current shadow. So once we are done with the marking, next, what should we do? Yes, we go to the lower time frame to check for any breakout happens or not. So in this case, as we can see, this is the daily danger zone on the resistance. And we can see that the hedge 4 already made a breakout with a bullish engulfing pattern. So when we see this kind of case, when the breakout is very clear, with a clean breakout of bullish engulfing. This is already considered as a confirmation. So we don't need to require that the price to come back into this area to make another confirmation of rejection before price continues to go up. 
this is a very good example where the price has already made a bullish engulfing outside of the zone is already showing the confirmation of rejection at the same time price has already broke the danger zone resistance of the daily time frame as you can see here I highlight here again one more time the H4 has made a breakout with a confirmation of bullish engulfing so we go to the M30 time frame after there is a confirmation of rejection from the zone especially with the bullish engulfing that is clearly break the danger zone SNR on the daily time frame therefore we need to look for setup in the M30 time frame we can see here there's a setup can you guys spot the setup have you got it yes it will be the SNRC1 setup so what should we do now is to mark the horizontal line at the capital letter A okay capital letter A so this will be our resistance next we need to draw the zone how to draw the zone is the rally base rally okay this base rally rally base we draw the base okay this is our entry base rally so once we have the horizontal line and the entry base what should we do next we go to the line chart as we can see here when we move to the line chart we can see that the capital letter a the resistance here is so strong is sharp see it is so sharp so this is a very good resistance this is the resistance that we want and it is inside the rally base rally entry point so our entry point will be this capital letter a which is the 1.70636 and then the base this zone base the resistance is inside the base so this is a valid sop for snrc1 so once we have all this confirmation sop for the snrc1 what do we need to look next yes our confirmation of entry so we can see here the zone that we marked earlier on for our entry with this horizontal line we can see that this setup is in the bullish engulfing of the body candle and let me highlight one more time is in the body candle if the setup is in this area the week then is considered as high risk exactly guys always remember this we do not want the setup of the confirmation to be at the wick we want it to be at the body of this candlestick the confirmation of our candlestick okay remember i repeat again has to be in the body so as we can see the price has reacted to our snrc1 setup congratulations we have already made some profit from this setup hooray that is nice guys next guys you need to do another assignment this time it's the same as well three assignment the assignment will be the breakout the danger zone snr resistance so you can use the second movement resistance is fine you can use any other resistance there is not the second movement is fine as long it is the danger zone snr on the time frame daily and weekly don't look for monthly okay guys look for weekly and daily but daily occurs very often like i said the simplest assignment you need to do is just look at the daily time frame breakout at the h4 time frame so once you are done with your assignment save it in the folder at the end of the course you can submit it later on okay so see you at the next class